Guys, my name's Jeremy. Uh, I'm here with My First Piano in the Grand Piano Store. We're just here uh, at the recital hall demoing the Disc Lovere. This is a DGB1, a five foot baby grand. Uh, you've seen some of the specs in there and I just want to go over some of the really cool features that Yamaha's done. Uh, and so we're, we're going to start off the idea of how many of you play the piano? And how many of you don't play the piano? See, so before, if you had a piano, the expectation is that you know how to play the piano. Makes sense, right? Well, now Yamaha is creating something that even if you don't know how to play the piano, but you just like piano music, this is giving you an outlet to be able to have piano music whenever you want. Make sense? So let's just kind of demonstrate. Uh, the piano is uh, a Yamaha uh, manufactured piano. It's five foot, it's a baby grand. This particular piano, Japanese parts, Japanese skill design, built into the piano are 500 pre-built songs of a variety of different genres. And so the way you connect to this piano uh, in former days, I was explaining to some others, uh, you would connect with, like he mentioned, like a piano roll, a roll that you would kind of, it would spin up like this and you'd put it up in the center of the piano and it would have little holes and it would go around and around and it would play all the notes. Okay? There were other iterations throughout history. Think, you remember the floppy disk? They had, uh, they had player pianos with floppy disks, player pianos with CDs, um, and now, They've introduced wireless connectivity. So with my phone, or in this case, my iPad, I can connect to a wireless network and control my piano. My piano can play for me, and as we'll soon see, my piano can sing for me, which is really cool. So let's start off. Uh, let's check out one of the songs that's pre-built on the piano. Come here to pre-built songs. Let's choose pop, and in this case, we'll do Sarah McLaughlin. Imagine having this artist, when I hit play, um, in your living room having a dinner party, you want a professional recording artist to come to your house and play for your guests. And of course, that's a pretty penny to do that, now isn't it? But not only will she play, she also sings. And of course, because this is a piano that's connected to my iPad, if I want the volume up, I just press a button. I can control it right where I'm sitting. I don't even have to be in the same room. I could be sitting in the living room, change the song, change the volume. And of course, all that you can think of right now are those puppy commercials. It's moving, it really is. And for those of you that are more classically inclined, we've also got some classical music I'm going to demonstrate. Um, now, if, if you'll take a quick look at the piano, if you're familiar with kind of player pianos and what they might look like, this actually doesn't look like a player piano. This looks like any other baby gram that you might have seen. And the reason is Yamaha thought ahead. Every other player piano system, you take an existing grand piano, you have to set it up on its side, and a technician has to go in, saw out holes, and plug in these big clunky boxes where you install solenoids and wires and the brains of the whole operation. You do that sort of after you have the piano. Well, Yamaha says, no, we don't want people chopping holes in this piece of art, so let's just design the whole piano around the player system. So from, from day one, it's designed to be a player piano. So as you look at it, there's no clunky boxes, uh, no rough edges, and there's two really powerful speakers that are built underneath the piano so that the piano can sing. Uh, or in this case, as I go to a classical piece, let's do the violin sonata. So imagine, if it's a little bit too loud, Let's turn the volume down a little bit. Let's say I really want to focus on the piano part, not so much the violin. Let's take that violin volume down a little bit. Pretty cool. Cool. All right, so those are some of the features that are already built in. Uh, the, the player piano, the disc levier, is the largest library of player piano music. 30 different channels of streaming radio. You could stream whatever music you wanted 24-7. You could have your, play, your piano playing music for you nonstop. 
I mean, it's absolutely incredible. In former days, you'd have to go out and buy specific anthologies, and now you have the ability to just download any song from the Yamaha Library, the largest uh, collection of digital player piano music in the world. So pretty cool tech. Um, I talked to Miles earlier, and Miles is going to help us out with, he's going to play the piano for us. Can you guys give Miles a hand? OK, so Miles, Miles plays piano, all right? So he's going to play us a song on the piano so you can kind of get a sense of what it's like. So go ahead and sit down. And uh, how about you play a few bars of something for us uh, before we blow everyone's brains? Go for it. Yeah, so let's give him a. We got a virtuoso. All right, so as you'll observe, this is a fully acoustic instrument, but you're wondering why am I holding a pair of headphones? What are headphones doing here? And of course, this is part of the revolutionary technology that Yamaha is always wanting to move forward. You've got the ball game on, the baby's sleeping, you're working on homework, and somebody wants to sit down at the piano, which is a loud instrument or a soft instrument? Parents, is it a loud instrument? Yes, it's a loud instrument, and of course all the kids, you want to bang and play, and of course that's always the worst time. Well, what if you could have a piano that you could play as an acoustic instrument whenever you wanted, and in those inconvenient times of day, when you wanted some solitude, what if you could plug in headphones? Aha! Here we go, we've got headphones. So, all you do is you take the headphones, come down here, and as soon as I plugged it in, a bar came down to stop the hammer from hitting the string. And so, can you play a couple notes for us? Try it through the headphones. Can you guys hear anything? No? That's a beautiful song. Okay, yeah, so how about you keep playing, playing your song for us? So if, you'll, if you even know, the, the hammers are going down, the dampers are engaged, uh, but it's not actually hitting the string. So super, super cool tech. And of course, what he's hearing through the headphones is a nine-foot Yamaha Concert Grand. It's called the CFX Grand. Yamaha spent 30 years developing it. It's, uh, it would cost you $180,000 to go buy that piano. And of course, now he's hearing it through his headphones. So Miles, what I was doing is I was actually secretly recording you. Uh, and so let's unplug those headphones. And, uh, and so music teachers have expressed that one of the best tools for, for music education is the ability to hear yourself play. So when you play something, you think, you know, so the kids, oh, I've got the song down, uh, mom and dad. How about you ask them, oh, really? How about you go down to the piano, make a perfect recording, and come back to me and see how that is. Probably an hour later, they'll come back, having played it over and over and over until you have a perfect performance. And in this case, you can capture that performance either as an audio file or as a MIDI file. So let's play that back. I think you kept going after this, though. Yes. Good. Yeah, perfect. So the advantage is now you can export that directly to a USB drive, upload it in your computer, send it as an email to grandma, whoever you want, you now have your recording. Let's give Miles a hand. Hey, here you go. Great. All right, now. Uh, let, who doesn't play piano? Raise your hand really, really confidently and high. Okay, let's, uh, let's have this gentleman here. Uh, let's give him a hand. Come over to the piano. Feel free to sit down. Uh, you saw this demoed in the other room. But another thing that Yamaha loves to do is bring in people that might not otherwise have an opportunity to sit down at a piano. And so in this case, uh, we're going to play with the smart key feature. What's your name? Phil, okay. So you told me you don't play piano at all, but can you follow one little note that's going to wiggle for you and then play that one note? Do you think that you think you can do that? I, 
All right, all right, let's try, is it anyone's birthday today? Great, merry unbirthday to you. Okay, go for it. Just the one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. C continue for us. Thank you, sir. You're a true virtuoso. That was incredible. That's great. I think one of the best applications of this for me is as I think about what's coming in a couple months, you're sitting by the Christmas tree and you're drinking your hot cocoa and the fire is going and what would I rather do but sit in my living room with a nice book and let's try... Oh, isn't that... You can hear the orchestra in the background. Pretty, pretty awesome, isn't it? I think it's like perfection. And so I really do think that everything that I would ever want in a piano, this does. If I want to play a, a fantastic acoustic instrument from a brand that has more of its brand on concert stages than every other brand put together, which in this case is Yamaha, I win. If I want a baby grand piano that responds with this big, full, rich, warm sound, I've got a five-foot baby grand. But if I want to practice at all hours of the day, all hours of the night with the quiet feature, with headphones, I can do that too and it'll convert into a silent piano that gives me the feeling of an acoustic piano with actual engagement. The hammers are actually engaging with fully digital sound. If I want a piano that records for me, this does that. Instead of needing to go to a recording studio to sit at a C5, uh, which is uh, actually the, the world's most recorded piano, is a Yamaha C5. Instead of needing to go to a recording studio and pay for an hour or two hours of a professional recording, I have a CFX, a nine-foot concert grand piano, built into my piano that I can export as a high-quality audio recording or a mini file if I wanted to use that and put that into my music making software. I can do that too. It's a beautiful, gorgeous centerpiece. Obviously, the grand piano is this classic look for any living room. Um, and so uh, here at my first piano, the Grand Piano Store. We want to get you a very high quality instrument. And it's like Josh was saying earlier, Yamaha is about making music makers. And so for serious musicians, for people that love music and want to cultivate music, having a piano that can play piano music at all hours of the day and night with backtracks, with vocals, with orchestral, uh, designed for practice, designed for families, and is the perfect high quality investment piano, the Yamaha Disclavier Piano is the way to go.